Let's look at how Sheringham Seaside has changed over the years. Sheringham started life as a small fishing village. When the railway came in 1887, it made it easier for large numbers of visitors to come and enjoy our wonderful coast and beaches. This is the Marble Arch at Sheringham in about 1910. That's over a hundred years ago. Can you see the goat carts? They were used by local children to carry the visitors' cases from the train to the holidaymakers' hotels nearby. This is a postcard from the 1900s. Look at the way the people in the postcard are dressed. Can you see someone having a donkey ride? In this picture, the women are all wearing long skirts and there are changing tents for people who wanted to swim. 50 or 60 years ago, visitors to Sheringham were still enjoying the beach, but the clothes they wore were very different from those in the last picture. Can you see the boats? They were going to take part in a raft race that happened every year. These old buckets were made from painted metal and had lots of colourful designs on them. We all like to visit the beach. We still make sandcastles. This picture is from the 1960s. There's no sand at high tide, but people are still happy to sit on the stony beach and watch their friends swimming, just as we do today. In Victorian times, these were the swimming costumes of the day. Notice how elaborate they are and worn complete with a corset, shoes and hats. Look at these young women from the Edwardian era showing off their new costumes. They look a bit like sailor dresses and notice the stockings they are wearing. This picture is from the 1920s and 30s. These costumes would have been much easier to swim in than the ones worn in earlier times. This is a replica of a swimsuit worn in Edwardian times before the First World War. This picture was taken in the 1890s, in the early days of Sheringham as a beach holiday resort. Can you see the bathing machines at the edge of the water? These allowed people the privacy to change into their swimming costumes before entering the water. There's always been lots to see and do at the seaside. Sheringham used to have a Punch and Judy show for adults and children. Punch was a villain who was really unkind to his wife Judy and baby. He got into lots of very boisterous scrapes with a crocodile and eventually got caught by the policeman. It's so much easier to take photographs today. I wonder if the photographs that you take this year will end up in a museum in a hundred years time.